How's it going everyone? It's Gadget's Boy. Welcome to another video. And we're here in Berlin at IFA this year. This is 2019 and it's exciting. This is one of my favorite time of the year. We get to see what's coming out next year, whether it's just TVs, mobile phones, even laptops, gaming laptops, everything, everything, everything Absolutely. you name it, everything happens here this year. And first of all, massive shout out to our sponsor this year, Spec, Thank one of guys. my favorite mobile accessory manufacturer. They make phone, man, phone uh, cases, they do laptop cases, bags, bags, you name all it. Sorts. And it's an exciting collaboration there as well this year. And for you AirPods lovers out there, there's something for you as well. We'll talk more about that just in a second. But for now, let's go through our top, top manufacturer, mobile phone, what's out this year? Uh, so we've seen a lot of stuff. We were at Sony yep. earlier. Uh, we've seen some stuff from Huawei. Yep. LG have got a new phone. Mm -hmm. um, the FX Tech. FX Tech. That's had a lot of traction on social. Everyone's been going crazy yes, about that. Yes, yes. Sliding keyboard. Yeah, so I mean, even talking about that, the phone designs have really changed this year. Yeah. They've really, I think they're providing a lot of challenges for phone manufacturers yeah. who make accessories for like, you know, cases and stuff like that. That's right. It makes it a lot harder because yeah. you've got like no bezels. Yeah. So how are you going to keep your phone safe? Yeah. Whilst still keeping that design visible. Because one of my, one of my issues with uh, phone uh, cases, for example, is the fact that, for example, I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, and the problem is, it's such a lovely design, it looks beautiful. So you don't want to put a case on I it? I don't want to put a case on it. But in this case, manufacturers like Spec, they keep up with the trends, and they create a case that allows me to still look at my phone and enjoy the design, be, be, be happy about my design. And we've been putting that to the test. That's it, we've been dropping it. So this has got four meter drop, and one thing I also like is protection inside and out. So when I say that, it's visible, non-visible. So most people, they look at a case and they're thinking, oh, it's just so that when I drop it, it protects my phone. But what we've got here as well is the fact that you've got UV protection. Microband. So microband um, and UV protection. What I like is, this case, for example, is clear case, it's a clear case, right? So what we've got is this one go yellow over time. That's one of the things I don't like about clear cases because yeah. over time, they always go a bit like, Rusty, it, almost. Especially a lot of them are IP68, whatever, water and dust resistant. So in most cases, I will take this to the sea yeah. and swim with it, yeah. take a quick selfie, whatever. And the, 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 the stuff in the water, whether it's chlorine in swimming or pools salt. and stuff, would, or salt, would affect the case colouring and stuff. In this case, it doesn't affect it, yeah. which I really like. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's quickly talk about some of the smartphones that got announced this year. All came back in some cases. Yeah. So we've got Samsung Galaxy Fold. Amazing. You're a big fan. I'm. I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence. But you had a. You had a good time with it. So add some time with it. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, I really like it. I think the first time for me holding it in hand, in my hands myself, and the first thing I thought about was protection. How am I going to protect this phone? It's. It's hope... big when it's folded out, 7.3 inches. Yep. And uh, it just feels. It feels very sturdy, but fragile at the same time. In the sense that, imagine dropping that. Oh, two thousand dollars. So much of that is a screen. <laughs> It's basically screen in your hands. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to what Spec would do with that smartphone, yeah. actually. I'm looking forward, forward, forward to that sort of accessory. Um, beside that, so AirPod, AirPod users, we've got a new case for you guys. Yeah. Talk to me about this. Well, because the thing is with AirPods, you've got that white case, which is quite clean. But yeah. then when you put that in your bag or if you put it in your pocket, they can get scratched. They can, you could can drop them. Whereas you've got like a hard shell case for it. This will keep it cool. It's also got the microband protection against bacteria. So yeah. it keeps it clean, protects it inside and out. I think it's right. a really nice accessory for people with AirPods. Yeah. And what I also love about it is it comes in different colors and you got that hook as well. Oh yeah, that's really handy. That's really handy because we were doing it earlier and we were like, ah, oh, this is really cool because you can hook it onto your bag, uh, your, cl your be belt uh, yeah. clip and stuff. It's just nice. It's really, really valuable. So also because of, the, of the different colors, yeah. you're not going to confuse them with someone else's pair. <laughs> that's quite handy. It's, exactly. Especially if you buy it for your partner, you can be like, you can have there that one. Go. That's my one. My there favorite color as well is that actual, that blue one. Uh, would you call that coral? I think that might be my favorite one. Or pink. It looks like pink to me. I quite like it. <laughs> One thing we saw at CES last year, which kind of drew, drew me into the world of spec, is GrabTap. Yeah, they have the special Las Vegas ones. Yes. So what, what I really like, they do actually, um, they have limited edition ones. So while we're in Berlin, they've got the Ample Man, they're the traffic light. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. So yeah, Very they do like, like nice little limited edition yeah. cases, but they're so handy because they don't just, you've got the case to protect your phone, but then you've got that extra grip. Yeah. So it keeps your phone a lot more steady if you're... If you're one of those people that like to walk and text, which I don't advise, <laughs> don't walk and text. But if you do, yeah. uh, you've got that nice little extra security when you're holding your phone. Yeah. And I actually use them when I'm like sitting on a train, 
Yes. So he doubles really up handy. as some sort of like stand for your phone as well. Like, that's so cool. That's great for a flight. Yeah. I've I got a long it. flight back home. <laughs> you haven't got a long flight. So you can customise these as well. So they're quite nice as well. You've got the donuts. That's yeah. kind of my favourite one. But I just think it's a really nice little accessory. It's quite simple. It doesn't take up too much space in your pocket. Yeah. Other people use those ones that are ring. Yes. I find those really uncomfortable. After yeah. a while, like they start to hurt your fingers. Whereas right. that's like a soft material. So I think these work for me a little bit better than those two. And one thing I love about this is the fact that for phones are getting bigger now and you need that extra grip on the yeah. back of a phone. Like I've got the Huawei Mate 20X, yeah. 5G here for example. This is a big it's a tablet. It's, it's a, a tablet. tablet. <laughs> and having this on here, which I will do today, luckily at a stand they're also customising them. So maybe I'll have a special GB version on this today. Yeah. But having this on my phone, on this phone, means it's extra. Easier to hold. Yes. So it has a lot of functionality, design, everything that you'd expect from an accessory like this, right? Um, exciting collaboration with Spec. Yeah. To me. Talk to me about that. The first thing we notice before you start is the fact that that looks like their suitcases. Well, I was. So when we first saw these, I was wondering why they're designed like that. It's quite a quite a statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I saw the suitcases; they perfectly match the luggage. Right. If you're one of those people that like to have everything matching, yeah. like all of your bags, now you've got a phone case that matches as well. I think that's quite cool. Yeah. And they come in a range of colours which also match the, lux the this, luggage as the well. The silver one, straight away luggage. Yeah. It just <laughs> looks like it looks that. like a bag. Yeah. But it's I quite love it. cool. It's a nice collab. And the thing as well is they make cases for different manufacturers. So like here we saw like LG. Uh, well, because well, a lot of manufacturers typically can focus on iPhones, yeah. whereas Spec have got a whole range for, right for, for Android, which is really cool. And we were looking at the Flora one earlier, That's which one of my looks really nice. Um, I'll definitely rock that, if, if you ask me, I'll definitely rock that. And it's got a nice texture to it as well, it's yeah. quite smooth. And we were testing it, and it's clicky as well, so the volume rocker, one thing I found about cases is when you press that, you lose. They're not responsive. It's not clicky. Yeah. With this, the response is really good. Um, actually, I had the Samsung official case. Yeah on my phone. I dropped it. Took it off. It didn't take the impact. These cases will protect you four meters drop, which we did earlier as well. Yeah. I'll leave a little clip on here so you guys can see that drop. And uh, John was like, you're going to drop your phone. That's well, like, so what they what they offered us was we could use one of their phones. Brand new S10, I could use theirs. Tommy insisted on using his Note 10. I mean, so guys, we trust it that much and it still <laughs> works. Guys, if I'm talking to you about it, I need to, I need to test it myself. Uh, and that's what I did. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Next thing, talk to me about the Stay Clear. Oh, the loot locks. Yeah. So these are quite cool. If you've got like a couple of uh, some ID or some bank cards, you can put up to three in here. Right. Easy but to just, detach. If you want to tap your tap your card yeah. and you don't want to get, if you want to leave your NFC on in your phone. Yeah. It's quite an easy way to do that. And you can also turn it around for privacy. It locks both ways. Okay. But again, another cool little accessory. These guys are always thinking about ways to help you get more out of your tech. 360 protection. They want to help you get the most out of it. And I think yeah. that's a nice little like, smart innovation there. Right. And you can just leave it on your phone. If you want to take it off, again, it doesn't take up much space in your and pocket. And how many cards can you put down again? Up to three. Up to three. Three cards or some cash. Cool. Not too much cash. <laughs> If you're a baller. Fold it, fold it really neatly. Yeah. Slide it in there, you're good. But again, like a nice little smart innovation. Does that come in different? It does. They do have different colors as well. So that's sort of like gray color there, that's the blue. And yeah, the whole range. I don't see my favorite color though, red. That's red. They don't do Arsenal versions. Sorry. <laughs> Spec, we need to have a word. Red, Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the cool things as well about the patterns that they do, they're not stuck on. Right. So they're not going to scratch off, they're not going to wear off over time. It's actually built into the material. Cool. Which again, if you're going to buy a case, you don't want it to wear off. You want it to look good and stay looking good. Right. And these guys have the material. Look good, stay good. Exactly. And they have the, they have the stay patterns. Stay clear. <laughs> they have the patterns built into the material, which is right. really, really cool. Cool. So that, yeah, so that's not, that's very, because that's not going to scratch off. It's actually part of the accessory, right? Yeah. Cool. I know we talked a lot about accessories, but we've also got smartphones that got released and stuff. Yeah. So we got Nokia, you brought back that flip phone as well. I'm not convinced. Does Why? anyone need a flip phone in 2019? It's nostalgic. Yeah, I guess. I mean, they're trying to reproduce that, what we had that time with the 3310, yeah, 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 3330. Yeah. Is it 10 or 30? 3310. Trying to reproduce that effect, that, you know, everyone's like, nostalgia, it's back. I don't know. It's got nice big buttons. I'll probably yeah. get one for my grandma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got Sony with the Xperia yeah. 5. They Xperia, jumped they, all the way from one to five. And the explanation the is- The naming convention the makes range. no sense where they're yeah. saying, because it's between the, the, the 10 and the one. It's in between. It's in the middle. It's pretty much I'm an Xperia 1 it. compact. Yeah, I'm not buying it. 
but it looks cool. It is right. a nice phone. It's just it, there's no there's nothing new about right. it. It's and it's still got a lot of the same internals. As HDR panel. Yeah. It's a six point one inch okay. versus six point five. Twenty one by nine. Still? Yeah. Twenty one by twenty one by nine aspect ratio, which I really like. Okay. I think they're one of the ones that are pioneering that. And also because you have got such a big panel, making it thinner makes it seem much more compact than it actually is. Right. So yeah. why didn't they do that in the first place? I just think no one. One of the things about Sony is they always try and make uh, the phone content look how the people who designed it intended. So right. when you watch a film, it's 21 by 9 in the cinema. Right. So they're trying to bring that to a mobile experience. And I think it works really, really well. And then LG, they came back again with the second version of that double display smartphone. I, I, how do you feel about that? So people are doing foldable phones, but these guys are doing foldable. I don't even literally know what Literally foldable. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think it, it's a cool idea. I think it's done well. And you don't have yeah. that issue with the whole crease down the middle, which everyone's complaining about with the fold. It's going to be the next uh, camera bump. Yeah, it no is going to be the next camera bump. No crease. It will be, yeah, but yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. And also, it's not as vulnerable to dropping as a phone with a fold is. So I think that's kind of cool too. But I just think with, for me, LG don't, they don't seem to be listening to consumers. Right. They're just going off in their own direction, producing things that they like, yeah. but no one was asking for a phone that literally yeah. folds. That's a shame. It's not innovative. We've yeah. done that before. But I'd, I'd last to, I mean, hopefully we'll get hands on with it for longer to see what that really feels like yeah. in the real world. But time will tell. And what other manufacturer do we see? Uh, Honor. Honor. Yeah. Yes. They they did some they did something amazing actually. With our Pocket Vision. Mickey. Yeah. Pocket Vision. I actually really like. So I'm a big fan of tech brands doing good with technology. Yeah. Technology for good. Does that make sense? It's uh, what's the way to put it? It's socially conscious. Yes. It's thinking of ways to make technology better for people. Accessible. Not just making it cool, but actually yeah, helping yeah. people live. Yeah, so it's for visually impaired people so they can use their smartphone to read things, uh, even though most smartphones don't let you. So they do things like reading out text, yeah. you can zoom in. Um, it's got filters on it. Different filters so you can see depending on what. I'll leave links in the description so you guys can get, check that out. Yes, I think it's actually quite amazing. But they actually that, worked yeah. with the Royal, the Royal Nestle Institute for the blind. So yeah. they worked with people who know exactly who, what, yeah. who needs who that. Who understands kind of it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And our friend Ricky helped present, which yeah, is really cool. He, he nearly brought tears to my eye. I that was beautiful. Someone was chopping onions. Uh, <laughs> why the, why, <laughs> why and they've got a new color for the, the Honor 20. Not 20 Pro. Yeah. The nice. frosted. Frosted uh, no, blue? It was Icelandic Frost. Yes. Oh, yeah. good memory. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. And same as well, uh, Huawei as well, they released two new uh, colors oh, on the, the P30. P30. Yeah. Um, I don't know if official names on top of my head, but it's blue and a pink one. Yeah. They look great. Yeah, two tone. It's kind of pixelish. Yeah, yeah. You know what we found out as well? So we were testing it. We were testing the weight. Yeah. And the new one actually feels slightly heavier. Yeah. I, I don't know what they've done with it. Maybe and they're cutting new... corners somewhere. Maybe. And there's a new processor chip as well, yeah. the Kirin 990. Yes, the, you, had, you had hands on time with I that did. as well. It's the fastest, biggest, the baddest. Smartest. And smartest. And basically, they've combined 5G mod, uh, modem into one chip. Yeah. That's insane. And it's 7 nanometer as well. It just makes you think the upcoming Mate, Mate 30, 30 series is going to have it. We'll have that. And yeah. I'm really excited to see and what And apparently, that Mate X as well, the foldable phone that Huawei do, is going to have, have that? that as well. Cool. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to it. It's new Samsung. A95 A95G. So that's the, the cheapest 5G smartphone out right now. Yeah, and it um, looks amazing, it's super quick. It's bringing 5G, it's making it more accessible. So at the moment, 5G phones are like the S10 5G. Flagships. Flagship phones, like the Note 10 Plus, etc. Yeah. They're a thousand pounds plus. So having a phone that's less than 5,000, uh, yeah. a thousand five, <laughs> less than a grand, that's 5G, I'm looking forward to that. But like you were saying uh, yesterday, everyone's going to be on 5G eventually. Yeah, yeah. So you need to make those price points become a bit That's more right. affordable anyway. Yeah. Otherwise, people will have 4G devices and then they're getting 5G SIM cards yeah. and they won't be able to use them. So and it's got all the internals nearly as same as a Note 10. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah, it makes I mean, you think, why do I still need a Note 10 though? Because you, like you like that it's pen silence. thingy. I don't like the pen, but S -Pen gang. you're a fan. S Pen. <laughs> um, anything else? What else have you seen? Well, some new TVs. On had the TV, the yeah, uh, with the popcorn camera. That was cool. That's awesome. There's not going to be a case for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spec, are you making cases for TVs these days? Maybe. I hope not. <laughs> TV should not be that mobile. No, no. Um, but I think that's it. I think for me, my favorite phone is yeah. Fossil one of my fossil watches. Fossil smart watches. Oh yeah, yeah. That they looks, got some new watches. Those are really cool. The five. Gen Five. Yep. It's called a Carlyle, the official name. Yeah, Strange. I'm actually wearing one. <laughs> It's actually really good, and the battery life 
depending on what you do with it in terms of settings and the connectivity, um, the battery life can actually last up to two days yeah. from my testing so far. It's so much better than the last one. It's, it's got better. Um, I still wish you got more out of it. So like the Galaxy Watch lasts up to four days. Yeah. So I think... We can do better. You can do better. We, we can do better, but... I like them. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Great design. It's one of my favorite smartwatches yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Links will be in the description area again. Massive thank you again to Spec for thank sponsoring you very us much. this year. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification if this is your first time on the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.